All right, guys, so Ms. Jones just talked about energy transfer because energy transfer goes from the same type of energy to the other type. So I'm going to describe energy transformations, and this gives how energy goes from one type of energy to the other. So energy transfer is from same energy to same energy. Energy transformation is from a different type of energy to another. So our first example is the wonderful electrical circuit that you've studied a lot about recently. So on this energy transformation, it converts one energy to another. So looking at this battery, which is chemical energy, it's able to convert chemical energy into radiant energy with this light bulb. Um, also, it can convert chemical energy to electrical energy to light energy. Energy transformations cannot just happen from one to the other. It can go in a series. It doesn't just have to go from one to the other. It can continue to go. Because we have to remember, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can simply be transferred and continuing to transfer. Here's another great example of windmills. Um, for Project Lead the Way, we actually tend to build these. Hopefully, we'll get that opportunity this school year. But for a windmill, we take the mechanical energy of the wind, moving this windmill, and we can convert that into electrical energy that we can use. This is a great non-renewable, uh, or sorry, it's a great renewable resource because it's taking this mechanical energy and converting it into electrical energy, which we can use. So this is a wonderful renewable resource. Here's another one. A lot of you basketball players out here, you take the mechanical energy of the basketball and it transfers to sound. I know personally one of my favorite sounds is when a baseball hits an actual bat. Um, that is a wonderful mechanical energy into sound energy. If you play drums, that's a wonderful example of that. Mechanical, if you move the actual uh, drum and it hits, that is a great example. Um, the next one that we have, gasoline. Okay, when you start to learn how to drive, you learn a lot about this because it will take some of your money. Gasoline, we can convert that into chemical energy, or gasoline is chemical energy. Uh, when you convert that fuel of that, or that chemical energy, it can transfer into mechanical energy to make your car move. If you didn't know this already, you have to have gas in order to move your vehicle. So this is a great energy transformation, chemical to mechanical. Uh, next one, we have several different examples, but we have to realize we take electrical energy and convert it into something else. Electrical energy, we use this a lot in today's society. We use electricity all the time that helps us do wonderful things. So we take electrical energy with a boom box, convert it into sound. Um, you can also take electrical energy, convert it into light when we turn on the lights. Uh, you can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy for a fan. I know that's very lovely when it's warm outside. And also you can convert chemical energy into toast or into thermal energy when you cook toast. Remember energy transformations from one energy to the other because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. The next few we are at the end of this week and next week, you're really going to be focusing on energy transformations and energy transfer. Remember, energy transfer is from one type of energy to the same type of energy, and energy transformations from one energy to the other. These exist because of the law of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can be transferred. Guys, you all have a wonderful day.